Hi, I will come back to the previous schematic um, because there is a small mistake who paid attention uh, on the last episodes uh, he found the, the mistake here is no fuse on the terminal in the panel we put a fused terminal but on the schematic we have no information at all uh, even here on the terminal group there is no information there is a real fuse there this is very important information for future engineers or even for ourselves uh, because if we don't know that there is a fuse there we, we won't know that something went wrong in this part of the machine I will quickly add the fuse there's a few ways to do it I will remove the first terminal and I will replace it with the fused terminal and it could be like this but this is not very accurate because right now it's just showing us that this is only one terminal fuse but in real life the whole group is secured by fuse I will move this terminal or this fuse on the terminal right here on the group terminal input and as we will see in a second uh, this will be more visible to make it complete i will just add to the terminal descriptions uh, i will add the fuse so everything is okay now when i'm gonna refresh the page uh, we can see straight away the uh, letter f for fuse so the whole schematic is updated and is exactly the same as the real connections so we can move forward uh, from terminal number one I will just run another connection to another group of the terminals what will be after the relay after the safety relay so I'm adding here the uh, normally open contact and some wires I will add new terminal group and I will name it x3e for emergency and of course here a few new terminals and then on next page I will just draw all the connections for emergency stop relay i prepared already uh, the safety relay here's the power connections with power supply here's a1 for positive and a2 for negative and all other uh, terminals as on the uh, safety relay the first thing what i need to do is to pair uh, these two relays so i will just mark this relay here and connect with the safety relay and automatically program just add the tag that this relay is on the page one on row g on column 11 so we can check now if this is correct so here is a page one row g column 11 so we can easily find the part what we're looking for and of course on this page we have the same marker uh, where is the relay on another page so page two row f column six i will just run the wires for power supply so from terminal number two i will just run the wire to a1 from a2 i will just run again the wire for negative side and in this place also we need to connect these two wires from page one to page two so I will click connect and automatically the program is looking for a not connected wire and as, as we can see there's a line uh, to the arrow uh, showing us that the, the program is, is waiting to connect the wire somewhere else so if I'm gonna go to page 2 and as we can see the program is again looking for a free um, not connected wire if I'm gonna go more down it will automatically jump to the uh, second wire and of course I click on this one here and same as on the, on the relay we have information where the connection can be found on the other page and of course same on the other end and exactly the same task on the negative wire so here we have the power supply now we need to connect the wires for emergency stop button I will connect two channels and the one channel that will be circuit from S11 through the emergency stop switch uh, one channel on the switch and it will go back to the S12 and the same on the S21 we must have on the emergency stop button two normally closed switches we're using the normally closed uh, switches because in case of any damage on the wire we will know straight away that the circuit is uh, open and something is wrong 
if this will be normally open circuit uh, then we, we won't know if it's any failure until we press the button so in safety circuits we always gonna use normally closed contacts so here I'm gonna just uh, run some wires to first contact and so the second contact on the emergency stop button in this place uh, I should put another uh, group of the terminals uh, just to join the wires but for now uh, I just gonna connect uh, directly the wires to the uh, safety relay uh, I will join this uh, K1 and K2 together because that's on one emergency stop button that's two different channels but there are uh, one button so when I press the emergency stop button they will go off together at the same time so I will change the name first uh, for emergency stop 1 ES1 I will also change the numbers of the contacts uh, because the normally closed contacts uh, they are marked with number 1 and 2 uh, more about the numbering and about the contacts and different switches and uh, buttons uh, will be on the next episode the terminals s33 and uh, s34 i will join together because they are normally open um, contacts and they are used for something else but for now i will just join them together and uh, y36 and y37 uh, that's terminals for reset button if I'm gonna put a bridge between these two terminals, then the relay will automatically reset um, after we're gonna turn the power on. So uh, this is the one way to reset the safety relay, but we're gonna use the press button to reset the circuit. So I will install uh, the normally open contact here, what will be the push switch, and I will name it S0. I think that's everything about the safety relay here. The terminal groups uh, look exactly the same. Of course, there can be more emergency stop switches, more curtains, more gates, different safety devices so usually there's a few um, safety circuits of course we can use a different relays and as I will show in the second uh, on different schematics from different machines these circuits may look uh, completely different to each other on this schematic we can see the safety circuit on the left hand side as we see here uh, the contacts on contactor k2 uh, must be closed and also the contacts on contactor k3 must be closed to start the contactor k1 so we could go through the circuits and see uh, what each contactor does but we can see it straight away that there's a combination of, uh, of few contactors to start the machine as we can see there is no safety relay but that's all standards today we must use the safety relays that's required by law and also this relays must meet the uh, very restricted requirements to be used in uh, industry for example they must have uh, mechanically opened contacts because in the contactors the contacts just on the springs so when we disconnect the uh, power supply for the coil the contacts are just separating by spring and there is no force to push the contacts away here for example is a different machine and safety circuit here the one safety circuit is called 24 volts plus emergency stop so the 24 volts uh, goes through the breaker and then through the k2 through the normally open uh, contact and also k1 i can just say that the k1 that's the um, uh, safety relay but just to get the power on the k1 contact we must turn on a uh, k2 of course we can find the k2 and say exactly what it does but this is not the case so we, we won't do it now but what is important for us there is another safety circuit disconnecting the 24 volts to the rest of the machine I will join all the wires on our panel now and of course check if everything works fine thanks for your attention see you on the next episode